Hello all. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, we will solve a simple problem related to dimension of a vector frame. Okay. So, uh, let us consider this set S, which is uh, the set of four vectors 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 3, 3, minus 1, 3, 0, minus 2. This is clearly a subset of R3. So, all these vectors are elements of R3 and S is the set of these four vectors. Now, let us consider the set V, which is span of these two elements 1, 2, 0 and 0, 3, 1. What is the dimension of V? V can be represented as uh, alpha times 1, 2, 0 plus beta times 0, 3, 1, uh, where alpha and beta are real numbers. So, uh, this is nothing but alpha comma 2 alpha plus 3 beta comma beta such that alpha comma beta belong to R. So, now we need to find the dimension of V. So, uh, one thing we already know is that V is spanned by two vectors. So, dimension of V is less than or equal to 2. So, uh, if these two vectors are linearly independent, then the dimension of V is going to be equal to 2. Let us see if these two vectors are linearly independent or not. For that, we need to consider this equation A times the first vector plus B times the second vector is equal to 0. If we get A is equal to B is equal to 0, then these two vectors are linearly independent. So, let us check that. So, uh, this reduces to a comma 2a plus 3b comma b is equal to 0. So, this is a vector and the right hand side is also a vector. It is actually the element 0 comma 0 comma 0. So, equating the components we have a is equal to 0, 2a plus 3b is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0. So, from the first and the third we already have a is equal to b is equal to 0. So, this implies a is equal to 0 b is also equal to 0 which means that the vectors 1 comma 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 comma 1 are linearly independent. Since these two vectors are linearly independent and these two vectors span V, the basis of B is nothing but this set. So, dimension of V is equal to 2 since there are two elements in the basis of V. Now, the next thing question is, if the vectors in S are written as columns of a matrix A, what will be the rank and nullity of A? So, let us write down A. Uh, the vectors in S are written as columns of the matrix A. So, that is going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 3, 3, minus 1, 3, 0, minus 2. So, once you have a matrix, you know how to use Gaussian elimination and find the rank of the matrix. So, let us just do that. Let me quickly do it. So, the first entry is already 1. So, that is nice. Let us make this entry 0. For that, we will do R2 minus 2R1. The second row is replaced with the second row minus 2 times the first row. That is going to be 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. And the third row as it is. Now, we want to make this entry to be equal to uh, 1. So, let us divide the second row by 3. So, that is going to give me 1, 0, 3, 3. First row remains as it is. Second row we divide by 3. So, we get this and the third row remains as it is. In the next step, I want to make this entry 0. For that, I will do R3 is R3 minus R2. So, that is going to give me 1, 0, 3, 3. Second row remains as it is. And the third row is third row minus the second row. That is going to give me 0. So, this, there is a completely 0 row here. 
and there are two non-zero rows in the redu uh, reduced form. So, the rank of A is equal to 2 and this A is a 3 cross 4 matrix. So, by the rank nullity dimension theorem, we know rank of A plus nullity of A is equal to 4 which means that nullity of A is equal to 2. So, yes, we have found out the rank and nullity of A. And uh, A is nothing but the set of vectors in S uh, written as columns of A. Okay. So, what does this say? Rank of A is equal to 2 and A is again uh, the vectors in S written as columns of A which says that there are only two linearly independent columns for the matrix A. That is why rank of A is equal to 2. And if there are two linearly independent columns, it means that out of these four vectors, there are only two vectors that are linearly independent with each other. That is, if I consider the vector space spanned by the vectors of F, let's call it W, if W is the vector space spanned by the vectors of S, then since there are only two linearly independent vectors in S, dimension of W is equal to 2. W is already span of those four vectors uh, and uh, out of that there are only two linearly independent vectors. So, the dimension of W is going to be 2. Thank you.